Here we go for another tour. This location is our King Street location. Our front foyer, obviously, we just walked through there. And this is our visitation room. With the chapel on the other end of the wall there. This room can be used for visitation or can be set up for a service. This area here is where the casket would go or a table with the urn and then the flowers would go on either side of it there. And this area that's all in front of it would be rows of chairs all in that area. And then um, usually this uh, room behind is just mainly used for the actual visitation or gathering, but if we needed to put rows of chairs back behind um, to make the room larger, then we would. And we have a little coffee lounge here. And the arrangement office is just at the end of the hall. So this is where everyone would come in to make their arrangements after they've lost their loved one or to make pre-arrangements or any other reasons to meet. And our preparation room or our morgue area, uh, we do not use in this location anymore, but it is behind this door. And now it's used solely for storage, obviously. But this was a full preparation room or essentially a morgue area uh, at one point in time, but now we use the upper gauge location. Um, the embalming chemicals and supplies would have been in these cupboards. The sink is here. And um, I think in this cupboard here, we still have a bit of old uh, embalming uh, supplies such as uh, makeup and um, other cosmetic type items. So it's an old uh, embalming or makeup kit there. So after somebody's embalmed, we would apply uh, these cosmetics. Like it's a super old case. It'd be fun to actually pull this out one day and maybe do a YouTube video about what's inside these and um, how they worked. But these are all little pots of, of uh, cosmetics. And that wraps up our tour of our King Street location.